Hey everybody, this is Suraljit and today I'm going to show you a new application that I've created called Viral Pics which is going to help your Facebook page become much more popular by getting you very engaging and high quality content, high quality images that you can post on your Facebook page without making you work hard for it. Now this product what it does is it goes to the internet, it finds high quality images that match your niche and it can be any niche like dogs or cats or technology or cell phones or maybe travel or whatever you want you can target through this application you can just enter a couple of keywords from that niche and viral pics will look on the internet for high quality images that you can use and you can then post them to your Facebook page using the software or even schedule them to post the images at any point of time you want at any schedule you want and do that without having to spend a lot of time looking for stuff and you can even automatically put a border around the images and maybe even a custom message or a quote or whatever you want you can put on the images all on your own and this is a desktop based product you can run it on your computer you can run it on your server you can leave it running any way you want and this will constantly look on the internet for the images for high quality images in any niche it will post to your Facebook page all on auto so let me show you a quick demo of how it works so the first thing you need to do is add an account and it works with both Facebook and Twitter so if you're using Twitter if you want images if you want to post your images on Twitter on your Twitter feed you can do that if you want to post your images on your Facebook page you can do that it works with both these social networks so whatever social network you're targeting, you will need to get their API for it. You will need to create a, uh, an API key over there. You will need to create an app over there and get the API key and put it in the software. Whenever you want, you can add a new API key by clicking the add new button, which will let you uh, put in the API key details. And if you got something already, if you've got an app already that like I have, you can click on proceed. You can do a couple of authentication steps get a list of all the pages that you have for example for Facebook we're gonna let a, we're gonna get a list of all the Facebook pages that I have access to under this account and I'll be able to add the Facebook page to the software for example I've added one uh, called fun toy stories and I've already set up a few uh, keywords for it and if you go into settings here you can set the automation up here you can set the targeting up for example for this particular fan page I'm targeting only one keyword flower and I'm getting flower picks in my uh, software const consistently constantly and I'm able to schedule the posts I'm able to uh, you know check what I want I'm able to look at the images for example if I want I can enlarge and look at the image how it looks and if I want I can post it directly by clicking on the post now button it will be posted to my Facebook page if I want I can add it to a queue and the queue is a very wonderful concept what you can do in the queue is you can add a lot of images to the queue and the queue will constantly post your images to your Facebook page at your scheduled interval and that you can set up inside the settings option so you've got options like don't search Flickr automatically so all of these images are collected from Flickr which is the best which is the top image sharing site on the internet so you get all these images from the from Flickr if you want you can set with viral picks up to search Flickr automatically and constantly bring you the new images even when you're not working on the software or if you want you can turn this option off and viral picks will only search Flickr when you click on the search button right over here the second option is post photos automatically from queue so if you got some photographs added in the queue and you want viral pics to post it automatically to post them automatically to your Facebook page you can do so by enabling this option but if you disable it you will need to go to the queue and click on the post now button coming back the next option is add photos to the queue automatically so if you switch this option on any new photographs that are found by viral pics will be added to the queue automatically and if, if you also uh, switched on post photos automatically from the queue then it switches on a complete automated mode in which it will constantly find new photos and keep posting them to via, to your Facebook pages that means you can just rest easy and viral pics is gonna do all the all the Facebook you know content creation work for you that you want 
The next is make posts in draft state. So if you want to post the post in a draft state, not a, not publish them, you can do so. Then you've got auto remove photos with links. So if there is a link in any of the descriptions of any photograph, you can remove that. Then you've got post photos description with photos. So if you want to remove the photograph description, you can switch it off. Uh, you can switch it on and then the description will be posted. If you switch it off, then the description from the original photograph will not be posted. You can even select the amount of time that you want between each post made to Facebook when or Twitter when it's in automated mode. It can be as low as 15 minutes or as many as even 7 days. Next we have the photograph quality. You can select what type of photograph you want what quality of the photograph you want and if you want if you if you select for example that you want a large photograph you will get photographs at least of that much resolution and you can even uh, post in the original resolution original resolution of the image so if you want to post very big images maybe to your facebook uh, feed might not be such a good idea but this software does not limit you you can do so it even lets you select the licensing so if you want to maybe uh, get you know uh, only public domain photographs you can do that and then viral pics will only get those photographs from Flickr which have a public domain licensing so you can manage your licensing yourself we don't limit you we don't ask we don't uh, we don't uh, let you we don't filter on your behalf you can filter all on your own and it's got two amazing features it lets you sort sort the photographs that you're getting by uh, many many methods uh, you can even select the amount of time that you want to search. So if you want to search photographs that are, that are only published in the last 365 days, you can do so. If you want to change that, you know, but you can, you can change that. You can set it to any other interval that you want. If you want to exclude any particular Flickr user from your feed, you can do that. And you can also target any keyword that you want, any keyword at all. So just put in your keyword here, click on add keywords and viral pics will look on Flickr constantly for freshest photographs under that keyword and if you switch if you switch on automation it will be posted to Facebook or Twitter directly you can even follow a particular Flickr user so if you got your own Flickr account or if you got your friend's Flickr account or if uh, you want to follow a particular Flickr account you can just put in the Flickr ID username and then viral pics will constantly get the latest photographs from for that person and post it to your Facebook or Twitter feed then you can even search for stuff and you can even put in your own custom content below each photograph so if you want to put in a custom content if you want to put in maybe a call to action maybe a link to your website you can put it there and add this content below each post put it in this box and you'll be able to uh, and 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 battle pics will post this content below each image that it posts to facebook or to twitter then I'm going to quickly show you exactly how to uh, how it makes things easy for you. So coming back to your photos, here are all the photographs that we've got. And here's something interesting. Viral pics actually lets you decide what you want to write on the photo. So if you want to write something, for example, I can click on manage course and I, I can say maybe I can put in a little quotation of my own. So I've put in this little quotation, click on apply. And when I click on show preview, I will see this over here. I can even select the styling that I want. So if I want, I can select a gradient. I can select the alignment and I can select uh, even the, uh, just a second, get back to alignment. I can even select the font. So if you want to use any specific font, I can use it. Otherwise, I can ask viral pics to select a font randomly which will look good i can make it transparent if i want to put in some transparency i can put in transparency and i can make it vertical i can even make the quote vertical if i want or horizontal i can select a particular color if i want maybe maybe white or whatever color you want so whatever options you want to select viral pics will let you be very flexible it will let you select and if you want if you specify random things if you specify random colors random fonts then viral pics will make it make the styling unique on every picture that it posts and you can even have multiple quotes over here you can have as many quotes as you want and viral pics will post these quotes in sequence so if you put in maybe 10 quotes or 10 messages over here viral pics will, will post each of them in a sequence one by one so that your people your, your your visitors will see a new quote each time with a new picture 
which will give you practically unlimited amount of content on your Facebook page without you having to do all that work manually. You can even put in custom frames. So if you got a collection of frames, you can uh, you can put a border around the picture, any border that you want, any image you can use as a border. And you can find a lot of borders on Google if you want. Just save them uh, to uh, to ViralPix, and ViralPix will be able to use them. You can even put in your own custom branding. So if you want to put in maybe my website name, I can put in my website name. I can select the color that I want to. Uh, put it in I can select the styling I can select the font so I'm gonna just select a different font maybe uh, something simpler because it's my uh, branding and maybe Arial will do so I'm gonna go with Arial regular and you can select the font size so maybe 25 and select the font styling again you've got all these styling options you've got all these uh, alignment options click on show preview and your branding will also appear notice that every time I click on show preview I can get random designs based on what I've selected so if I've selected uh, random colors then every time it will post the image in a random color so that is a quick way to actually make sure that your image each of your image is unique and new so I've got this beautiful image now and if I want to post it to, uh, Facebook, to Facebook or Twitter, whatever feed I'm working on, I can just click on post now and this image will automatically be posted to my account. And I can close this along with these settings and I can go to settings again, I can click on change app settings if I want to change the Facebook page. If I want to set up maybe you know specific photo settings for my photographs which I want to apply on all photographs like post random quotes, I can do it using the photo settings button over here. And once I've done that, Viral pics will constantly work in the background, finding the latest and the best images from Flickr, posting them to your Facebook or your Twitter feed along with your random message, random quotes, along with fancy borders or uh, fancy frames around the box, giving you virtually an endless supply of images for your Facebook or Twitter feed. 